Hello, my friends and family. Welcome back to my very funny YouTube channel. Um, back and ready to record. And I just went to the store just to get a simple um, cat food for my cat Pisces. And it turned into like helping someone in need, right? So leaving the store, got an orange juice, got some half gallon milk for my mom. Oranges for myself. Forgot the um, Snicker bars that she requested. But the Lord reminded me I was walking out the door thinking Holy Spirit. Um, so we get to the bus stop. Did a quick video about um, um, calm time. So it is a calm time, but it, it's like I saw the bus. I was like, Oh Lord, thank God. I was like doing a quick video. I had to restart it. Lord, to do a two minute video. Um, so yeah, so got off the got on the bus. So the bus driver go in, take his break, help people at the bus stop. I said okay. So I was praying away for the group. I just felt like I didn't want to be too close to the people, but I just wanted to feel like I needed to pray. Because the Lord said the season is about giving Him praise and fulfilling the Lord, right? So the bus driver, I saw that it was like it was three extra people, passengers. And the guy who who's, who had like all this stuff, I was like, I remember him. He used to go thrifting. He used to go see my goodwill all the time. I, you know, or says good news things about me. So it's like part of the community. You know, you see people as you go out. You see people all around your neighborhood as you go up. So I was like, Lord, get to see that he's doing well, but he's getting older. You know, so you gotta take take and um, be grateful every single day, brother and sister. Um, the Lord says it. And it does touch me, meaning that it's like I know the person. And he kind of reminded me of my father a little bit. Um, the Lord said he ground, he ground, he grounds me, you know, because it's like your elders, you know, as they get older, they get kind of grumpy, they get kind of like irritated. And the bus driver was just like, my, my, before we get into the story, so, anyway. so I was then, Lord, I was like, beforehand, I said, Lord, when I get there in that age, I pray that I won't be that grumpy. I'll be able to walk around and be more stable, be more independent. So that's what I was saying. So, but the guy reflected of how my father is, you know. So the bus driver, was, he, the, older, the older gentleman walked over to the bus driver as he was coming on his break. And, you know, prior I just got there, you don't know, they spoke words, blah, blah, blah. The Lord said, but it touches my heart, you know. So the guy said something, the bus driver immediately said, Nope, you're not, you don't be rude to me. And, you know, again, the Lord said brave on it. People, older people can be snappy, can be grumpy, but, you know, they're ready to go home. It's 5 o'clock. They got to get their medication. They want supper. Think about a child or tantrum a child, you know, but the guy needs patience. The guy was, was speaking on business. He said you can't talk to people like that. So he was holding his ground, but a very stern way. The bus driver can refuse the person. But the Lord said it's sensitive to me because the guy did remind me of my dad. Then the guy was like, the bus driver was like, I'm going to call the cops. I said, oh, it doesn't have to go that way. But he did call his supervisor, his dispatch, and he refused. So he was covered. So, he, you know, he, the bus driver has protocol, do X, Y, and Z. So, well, I'll say, okay. So it's nothing wrong. But the bus driver said, because the guy was like, you're not getting on the bus. I said, okay, Lord, at least the bus runs every 45 minutes, every 30 minutes. At least he won't be um out that long but the the guy was like saying that i won my case beforehand but maybe he said this before maybe he's trying to get money but he the guy had a walker so he has to be accommodated you know what i'm saying but you never know the guy was drunk he did you know he saw his his, his pants we never know again he's older and you know he's getting he couldn't hold his bladder he just got ready to get home the bus driver had his gloves on but he has a job x y and z right the lord said he keeps me so again with the story time for the sister um, the lord said since this my heart the guy reminded my father and i felt in my heart that I went, be quiet be quiet be quiet and i said lord i'm trying to talk i'm trying to get in i'm trying to get out of the conversation, but I felt in my spirit to like have a quiet tongue, like be quiet, you know what I'm saying? But it was more like, um, I was about to say to you guys. Um, so the bus driver was leading, he was trying to block the guy until getting on, so I kind of respect that. So I went around, but he was trying to get on. But and I was like trying to say to the guy, like in my head, 
my mindset, but listen, be strong. Like, you're trying to win your case. Don't try to make it worse. So the guy closed the back door because you have the, the side entrance and the front entrance. So remember, this guy's older. Maybe he's been through a lot. And I was like, oh, man, it's getting worse. So the cops are coming. And the guy with the bus driver said he apologized. He called the soup actions again to check in. And, and then and I told the guy, and I said, Lord, the first time I had my mouth shut, but I felt in my heart that I needed to speak up because, like the Lord said, it was sensitive to my heart. And it's a time and a place to talk. So um, I was about to say, you guys. So I, the bus driver kept his distance. And beforehand, I was praising God beforehand. I felt something like, like, don't go too close to the people, right? But I was singing to the Lord, and, he, and I was like, this little mind of mine, he serves. This little mind of mine, he serves. You know? And then, uh, what else? And I told, the, I told the, the older gentleman to calm down. Don't be, don't be, um, what's the word? Combative? argumentative because maybe that was the bus driver's goal so he could be so so he could win his case you know what i'm saying i was agreeing that the bus driver stood his ground but it doesn't mean the only had to go to jail when i said well i can't let that spoke up i said to the guy but still in my heart the lord was like tell me still be quiet i let the guy speak because you know you want to be heard you want to be heard i know how it feels when you're not being heard and i say he loves me and you have to be strong this season. It's time to place. Sometimes you got to be quiet. But that's probably the first time. Because I want, maybe the Lord wanted me to not speak up. Because maybe it was in all state. It was great. And the bus, it had cameras. And so the bus driver stood outside of the the front door previously. So he said, again, do not. He used his words and touched the younger gentleman. And um, he said, do not. You can, I'm not letting you on my bus because he said, the way that you're talking to me again, he's older, they get grumpy, they say words, right? Um, so I agreed. But I said to the, young, the older gentleman, calm down. I hunted to him, did this with my hand, like, calm down, like, waved, signal to him, relax. The bus driver looked pissed at me. I don't care. <laughs> so, and another bus that he was telling us to get on, um, the older gentleman came. And that was nothing about the Lord. They could learn. But none but angels, angels on for that young man because he was saying that I, I have my, he had a lot of bags, but he had his wheelchair, that's accommodation. And I said to him, well, I said to me again, like basically don't say too much. I said, I get it. You want to be accommodated? And he said, on that, on that sign, I said, you're advocating for yourself. Um, so, and the bus driver was like, oh man, I was like, oh man. So I was like, not only... This could have protected the old man, but also could have protected the bus driver. Because he has a job from X, Y, and Z to fulfill. But at the same time, you never know that the old man was seeking, seeking money. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I didn't want to see no one do the job. I don't want to see anybody um, go to jail. As soon as the old man got on that bus, thank you, Lord. God said, run away and tax on me. Run away any attacks, the less is a good thing. In the name of Jesus, as I walk down this street, my own block, um, I thank the Lord for that. Thank the Lord for protection, angel protection. In the name, cover the blood of the Lamb over over me, cover the blood of the Lamb over my steps. In the name of Jesus. Uh, so, the only I got on the bus, and the bus driver was kind of, he was a little ticked off at me a little bit. He told the other bus driver, um, to stop, and so the cops came, and so he know he has a protocol for X, Y, and Z, again, so down the bus, and I said to him, you know, he was being argument, he didn't want to hear me, but I said to him, I'm glad you're good, and everybody's all as well, and so the guy at the bus driver said, all that for nothing, you know, he has a job to do, so I don't think it was the guy bus driver's attention to, thank you, Lord, I thought I missed a step, so and also the bus driver, like, I'm going to recap a little bit. I know my story's all lined all around. So the bus driver blocked the man to get on his bus. And the old man had one foot in the door and one foot out. But he used the, uh, the railing on the door because, again, he needed accommodation. So he used it. So the bus driver was like, you're in my space. Right? So the guy was in his space. Again, an older gentleman could be grumpy, tired. He just wanted to go home. And the best way... I didn't want to see no one lose a job. I didn't want to see someone, um, what's the word, get arrested. So what I'm just trying to say to you, brother and sister, 
we got to fulfill in the Lord. It's a time and a place for everything. The Lord always wins. The Lord loves you. So I really hope this story really helps somebody. Um, the new season, it's a good thing I did speak up. But not, I'm glad the Lord kept my mouth shut for a, a time. But I know it's a time and a place. Because if I intervene, it probably would have not helped the bus driver. With his story, when they review when his boss is dispatcher for the bus, you know, when they go through that. Uh, the Lord said, run away and tap something. Because whatever's trying to bump, like trying to bounce on, as you know, we're all burnt out. The Lord, we're calling out because the Lord, we're tired. And Lord saves us. I know we can't save everybody. It's a limit in us as we're burnt out. As well, maybe the Lord was leading me. It's not your season, Jalisa, to help everybody. But thank you, Lord God, that shines. And, you know, God is bumping us up. God's giving us strength. God's knocking us out. Let me pause. Let me stop and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, keep us strong, Lord. Keep us in your grace, oh God. Thank you for teaching us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, Lord. Thank you for holding us and redeeming us, oh Lord. Thank you for keeping me keeping the people around us, oh Lord. We always win. In the name of Jesus, we promise, Lord, that we're going to try our best. We promise, Lord, we're going to make it. In the name of Jesus, we cover the blood and limb over our house, oh Lord, over our family, oh Lord. And covenant over our house. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Set the Lord as your portion, Lord, to save brothers and sisters. And Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.